YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my video. This video is going to be an update on my usage of the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution for my underarms. It's supposed to stop the smell, help with decoloration, all that good stuff. So I've been using it for a couple months, so I'm going to give you guys an update. So uh, keep watching for more. If you want to see more beauty, skincare, hair, nails, tech, travel videos, subscribe to my channel. That way you can get some more of the good stuff and it's free and support the channel, right? So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So what I am going to do to start the video off is I do have some two short clips. One of my right underarm, one of my left underarm. So you guys can see the status of what's going on. And then I will come back at you guys with my condo full review. Alright, so thanks so much. Keep watching so you can see and then I'll jump into my review. This is my right underarm. So as you can see, discoloration still is just decreasing. But I'm getting like a burn mark in this area. Underarm, same thing. Where the color from down here is decreased but up here it is making my contact dermatitis go crazy so all right y'all i've been on my vacation so long that i've like forgot how to do my real hair well not my real hair but you know what i mean do my styling so i got a piece that is not cooperating but anyway we're here to talk about this not hair so um as you guys can see um i do have a contact dermatitis so uh what's starting to happen is although it's getting rid of the darkness and the discoloration in certain areas in my underarm um, the other areas are starting to have like almost like a burn kind of effect like it's getting a little crusty and red and irritated and it's super sensitive and it does not feel good at all so I'm pretty much done using this on my underarms also the area where it is clear I'm starting now to have all these issues with ingrown hairs so I don't know if you saw like the little kind of like swollen little pustule looking things but those are ingrown hairs now and I never had underarm ingrown hairs and now all of a sudden after using this I'm starting to have that issue so I do have sensitive skin so it was a gamble in the first place um <laughs> a gamble um whether or not this was going to work for me or I was going to be able to continue to do this long term so um that's a dub basically um in terms of or maybe what I'll do is do on for like a one week a month and then or use it like once a week i'm gonna just strongly try to decrease the amount i'm using it to see if maybe that helps but um it's really not a go for me also this is seven percent glycolic acid so i'm curious if maybe i find something that's like five percent or three percent that i might be able to use it and then my skin won't have a bad reaction to it so that's another thing i've kind of been thinking um i'm also just like can i just put water in this will that dilute it <laughs> But I'm not a chemist and that's not smart. I should just buy something that has a lower percentage. That way um, I cannot actually mess up my skin. So, um, but it does do everything it says it's supposed to do. It, well, not that it says it's supposed to do. Everything that people are saying you could use it for. So, um, it decreases the discoloration. You could use it as a deodorant. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, yes, it stops the smell but um it doesn't last all day so after like four or five hours your body odor starts to come back if you're a heavy sweater so you know keep that in mind um so ultimately i will say if you have sensitive skin definitely be careful um in terms of using this for the underarm hack um i'm gonna try some other things there's so many things out on the market that claim to help with this so um we're not gonna stop here but i am gonna take a break probably for a couple of months putting anything on my underarm besides like soap water and deodorant because clearly my skin needs a break so um that is my quick little two cents on this um hope that was helpful i feel like there's so many videos of people where they're like should does it work should i do it so i'm just trying to do this in kind of like a quicker way format to actually show you guys what my underarms look like saying that it did kind of work but um having sensitive skin i had a reaction before i could see any real like full transformation of my underarm so um but if you have normal skin it might work for you check it out um so thanks so much for taking the time to watch my video and i'll see you next time bye <music>